Hi, and welcome back to Grassroots Crypto, where I like to teach people about crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about the recent 4chain hack. So if you didn't know, uh, 4chain got hacked and approximately 4,000 worth of Ethereum value was extracted from the protocol. I did see this morning, like reports of approximately 13,000 Ethereum worth of tokens were extracted from the network. However, I believe not all the transactions went through. I've been reading on Discord, um, trying to understand what's happened. This appears to happen very early in the morning. So from what I've been able to glean so far, and, and someone did do some analysis on, on this, looks like from Lena, and someone did some observations, is that the problem was more with the Ethereum Bifrost, not the router. So essentially the, the um, attacker was able to say that they were going to be depositing 200 or worth 200 Ethereum into the um, into Thorchain. However, Thorchain saw that as zero. So that way they were able to then manipulate the pool price and get an advantage because essentially 200 Ethereum was being added to the pool, um, even though none was seemingly sent in. So therefore they were able to, to get a benefit from the pool price than they were able to normally get. So with this pool prices, so pool prices of Ethereum based assets were manipulated as it says here. So Ethereum hit over $350. Um, and then Wi-Fi hitting over $259,000. So they're able to get an arbitrage opportunity um, by manipulating the price of um, Ethereum-based assets by manipulating what was getting in. So more technically, the, the attacker wrapped the Ethereum router with their own contract, which allowed the message stop value, and that's the amount of Ethereum being passed in to be 200, but their own contract called into the router with a value of zero and the deposit amount of zero. So whilst they said they were sending in 200, um, it looked like they were sending in zero. And you can see they've got different code lines here um, of looking at the deposit amount and then as well as the actual value amount of the, um, of the transaction. So there'll be more information coming out. Uh, it looks like there's different attack wallets. This is very early analysis. Um, if I get more information, I'll be able to put it out. So that's kind of like a bit of an overview of the of what's happened. Uh, you can see more information on this link, which I'll put in the description below. Obviously, there'll be more information as the day goes on. Um, there's been at least three or four different uh, wallets that the attackers used inside the attack. I just thought I'd share that information. Hope that helps. Keep uh, an eye out on the ThorChain announcements channel, where you can find out more information and you'll get more updates of what's happening with regards to this hack. I uh, hope you find that helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And till next time, bye.